everybody. How are you doing? How's your week? Happy Tuesday. I'm glad to be with you. Oh, my game. There she is. So here's what happened. Um, we gave the holotapes to Nick. He really, really liked it. Um, but we didn't follow him. <laughs> So he just kind of ran off into the night. Um, I made him come back with me to Sanctuary, but then he just ran off. So I still had some things to do. Marcia needed to take care of some things at the at the um, at Sanctuary, and so we did that. Um, unfortunately, we upgraded our armor so that it's more protective, but now it doesn't have deep pockets anymore. So we're almost out of inventory. So it's really important that we find Nick as soon as possible. So we have tracked him down to Andrew's station. Um, and so I fast traveled down here back to the South Boston Police Department, which I think is where we found the very last um, holotape. So we are going to head over there and um, hope that we find Nick. <laughs> so that's what's going on in the wasteland. How are you guys doing? Yeah, I think there's gunners over here. Maybe they are still dead from when we killed them, but we rarely get that lucky. So I'm going far away. I'm going in the wrong direction. <gasps> cool. It can't be back in this little parking lot. I must have just turned the wrong way. Parker Quinn. I don't know who that is. I was wondering... Okay, that's just a tire on a stick. Did you guys ever... Oh. Just chilling in your own wasteland as well. That sounds good. Did you see in the news um, recently that they there was an elk? I can't remember where it lived. In Alaska, maybe? That had a tire wrapped around its neck. And they... Um, oh, oh, junk is weightless. And they just managed to get the tire on. It's been, like, years. Um, and they just managed to, like... They had to tranquilize it and then go, like, do this whole operation. And apparently they tried to do it, like, three or four times before the situation, like, before the circumstances were amenable to it. I thought that was absurd. I'd never heard of such a thing. I mean, I don't know if it's ever happened. They had pictures, you know, documented, like, appearances of him in the wild with, like, and he would just be standing there with a tire around his neck. It was fascinating. Because, like, animals will just, like, make it work. They're like, okay, it's time to make it work, guys. Okay, here we are. So, there are bad guys in here. Hey. And unfortunately, I don't know where Nick is. I mean, I would assume he's running guns blazing. Oh, there now. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're probably right. You gotta cut down. Mm. Huh? But I don't know where Nick is. So, hopefully he will... He will be here. We won't have to do this all by herself, but if we do, we'll be fine. Oh shit, here they all come. The one I want to get. Can I throw... Ah! That. There we go. Damn it. I really miss having Nick around. You think they'll forget us? Or come out one at a time, even better. I mean, how is that not getting them? What was that? Oh! I knew it was coming too! Oh my god! 
Okay. Oh my god, okay. Look, wait, they're forgetting about us. How is this possible? <laughs> they're like, what just happened? I don't know. Disappearing act. <laughs> All right. Moments like these are when I really miss the um, Diamond City radio the most, you know? Like, I can just hear the radio playing in the background. So good. Oh, yeah, finally! Oh, this guy. Excellent. Guys, we don't even need Nick. Oh no, I'm out of AP. Excellent. Come on out. I'll make it. <laughs> this is incredible. All right, so Andrew Station is a bus station apparently. Nice. Oh, I can't get all these clothes. Um, the junk is weightless, but the clothes are not weightless. I hope I haven't lost Nick by not following him in here. Excellent. It's another blood can. Okay, good. <laughs> Let's see what's uh, on this terminal. Probably just a ticket sales terminal. That's fine too. You're at control. <laughs> too late. <laughs> Uh, oh, nice. Okay. Sorry, I'm swinging it around. Sweet. All right. Did we already check these? Nope. Okay, here we go. Hopefully Nick will be in here with um Eddie Winter. Epic face off. Let's not keep Eddie yes. waiting. I awesome. Made it this far without you. I don't want to miss any dialogue. Legendary Raider. Okay, Nick. Hmm. Oops. <laughs> Excellent. Get off my friend. Uh, whoa, Nick. marshalling each other. I hear him giving each other inspirational words. <laughs> I'm just collecting the random junk around the counter while they're running for their lives. Yeah. 
Whoa, Nick. What a little bitch. <laughs> Poor Nick. Okay. Can we watch for these cans, Nick? Oh. See. See if I can get them. Finally, time for Eddie. Watch out, Nick. Ah. Uh. What's that? There you are. Hopefully, that at least hurt him. Whoa. Oh, there's mines. I didn't realize that. Ooh, I gotta get take a stim pack. Most people um put this on their quick menu, but uh, I like to give myself a minute <laughs> to collect my thoughts. All right. Plus, they're listening to the radio. Unbelievable. Wait, where's Nick? Oh, he's over here. Okay. grenade go off I must have missed it oh my god does this guy I thought he had a flamer for a minute uh oh hang on hang on hang on I gotta get my shotgun nice good work Nick all right excellent I'm gonna be over useful Loaded. Nick, I need to give you something, Nick. Come back here. Let's not keep Eddie waiting. I hope he has enough room to carry my minigun. <laughs> come on. Nick, come back. No, come back, Nick. Oh. See the look on what's left of Eddie. <laughs> this is not gonna work. Okay, what am I gonna do? Hmm. I have extra. Okay, so this is a left. Left leg. My current left leg is. Oh, it's this one. No, I'm not getting that one up. Hey, Nick, you're just going to have to wait for me. Exhausting. I'm so sorry about this. Nick, please come back. <laughs> He's killing me. I can't help you, Nick. Too far away. Okay, Nick, please. Oh, good. He's... I never would have made it this far without you. Nick. Yeah? Please, please, please. Oh, he won't let me give Finally him his stuff. Ah! To get his due. Okay. Well, I'll definitely put this down. And let's see. Definitely put these down. 
And then maybe if I give myself a couple of stim packs. Yes, excellent. What the hell was that? Nick Valentine, baby. There's something out there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh my god. And yet, how much you got left in you? Oh. Ah. Really want that to be the last ah. one you see. Ooh. Let's not keep Eddie waiting. Oh no. Oh, I think I have some grilled rad stag steak. I I figure I I think I'll probably need this uh, during the um, the mechanist DLC. What is that called? Okay, one second. Excellent. All right, let's go, Nick. I have a limited amount of time. <laughs> left of Eddie's face when we pop that lock of his. Me too. God. Interesting. Look at this. Little boxing ring. Subterranean. Wait to see the look on what's left of Eddie's face. When we pop that lock of his. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know if there's any charisma checks in here. But I'm going to put on my outfit as if there was one. That filthy toad's right on the other side of that door. Why don't you do the honor? Sure. One, nine, five, three, seven, two, eight... Four zero six. Here we fuck. go. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Who are you? Who the fuck am I? Who the fuck are you? I'm Eddie Winter, and you're in my bunker. Just how the fuck did you get? No, no way. Not after all this time. Don't tell me you actually cracked my code in the hollow tapes. <laughs> Well, hey, it's only been what? 200 years? <laughs> it's tongue, though. I don't need well, to look, see all that. I'm not sure what you thought you'd find gold, jewels, the secrets of the universe. But you get me. One guy. A ghoul, I guess you'd call me. Just living, surviving, and what I got, you can't have. That code? It was a joke. I just wanted to prove it was how really dumb funny, those too, Eddie. Were. Turns out pretty dumb so take your asses someplace else i'm not going anywhere until i get what i came for yeah and what's that and who are you huh you look kind of familiar but what are you some kind of robot is that what it's like out there now <laughs> a world of robot i know overlords? tweets so fresh the name's valentine nick valentine remember me valentine the cop i love how you can see through nick's face Sorry, pal, but you ain't Nick oh, cool. Valentine. You're just some kind of, uh, machine. Rude. You killed my fiance, Jennifer Lance. There's some crimes even you can't get away with, Winter. Your fiance? You mean Valentine's fiance. Pretty girl. A shame what happened to her. But hey, you? Or, you know, the real Valentine? He should have backed off when he had the chance. But what gives, Robot Man? Why do you even care? Some girl gets whacked 200 years ago, and you come into my home acting like a hot guy? Christ, look at you. You're not I even alive. A hot guy. Then I guess I'm in good company. Ooh. So long. I'd like to let Nick do this, you know, as much as possible. This is really his fight, you know. Get him, Nick. There you go. 
done here. Valentine loved that. <laughs> One more thing I've got to do. I, I wouldn't mind the company if you wanted to tag along. Whoa, Nick. You can keep your clothes. Okay, Nick, but... All right. Can I come back here, though? I'll come back here later, I guess. It's just there was a cap stash there. We can get it another time. <laughs> I hate it when you have to follow them because they always walk so slow. But heaven forbid you want to stop and look at something. <laughs> and all of a sudden they've got to be somewhere. They're back. Who are they? Oh shit, I'm not wearing my armor. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Nick. Gruesome. Oh no, I'm good. Nick, come on. <laughs> Nick, what happened to you, man? So who is this? She had a name. Hmm. No one will remember it. Oh, he's got tomatoes thrown at the skeleton. That's so cruel. Nick, where are you? Is this what we had to do? Is this something else? Oops. I'm gonna run get that other stuff since Nick's already gone anyway. Because there was a cap stash and I just can't walk away from caps. Should be right here. All right. 19 caps. Nothing to sneeze at. Beggars can't be choosers. No, I don't need that, though. <laughs> All right. That's enough. I don't need the rest. Okay, Nick, I'm coming. This is a little underground uh, comedy club, I guess. Okay. Ooh. Battered fedora. I think I'm pretty sure I've got that. Joe's... Oh, this is the sandwich shop. I know. Taking his head off was a bit uh, over the top, I think. Well. <laughs> All right. I didn't mean to make a poorly executed pun out of that. All right. Oh, there he is. So now, what was that key for? Maybe for the speakeasy? Hmm. This is it. In this spot, 200 years ago. Oh, no. One of Eddie's boys put a bullet in Jenny Land's back. Now Eddie's as dead as Jenny. And Nick. I... I'm at a loss. All I know is that without you, Eddie'd still be at large. Are you doing all right? Taking down Winter was a big deal. Are you doing all right? I don't know. It's a lot to take in. Winter was it. The only reminder left of the original Nick Valentine. The last proof outside of some 
long-lost Institute archive I was ever just a mechanical copy of some cop from a bygone era. I'm not sure how to feel. He's having an existential crisis. What were you expecting? I just thought this would fix things. But it's not that easy. Because I was Nick Valentine. I had his memories, his, his fears, all that poor bastard's hope. And I remember getting the call to head to some lab in Cambridge to get that neurotrans whatever. And the next thing I know, I'm in a trash heap. My family, my home, my entire life, gone. Then I discover all those things that they weren't even mine. Everything I ever was belonged to Nick. I'd hoped with winter gone, the last hint of that old world snuffed out, I could, I could finally be free. But being out here with you, what I, what I finally realized after all this time was that taking down winter, it wasn't about Nick or Jenny or even you or me. It was about justice, about doing what's right. And that act of goodness, that's ours. All the good we've done, that's ours and ours alone. And even if that's the only thing in this world that I can ever claim as mine, not Nick's, not the Institute's, but mine, then I can die happy. And none of it would have ever happened if it weren't for you. I'm not sure I'll ever be able to thank you for that. <laughs> Keep it professional. <laughs> so now that winter's gone... What's next? My plan was to keep things going as is. I hope yours is the same. Aww. Well, come on then. We're not helping anyone standing around here. <laughs> Excellent. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Yeah, that is if you're, if you're still interested in traveling together. I wouldn't blame you if you wanted some time on your own. I know, he's my this. BFF. You still want to? You still want to travel with me? Yeah, I think I could suffer through it. <laughs> All right. Of course. Let's do it. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Come on. Let's okay. get out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here, Nick. See, like, I feel... How can I leave him at home now and not take him to uh, Nuka World when I go? Like, it really puts me in a bind here. Um, okay. So, what I do want to do, though, next, for sure, is I need to go back to Sanctuary and um, figure out what to do with all my junk. And then, let's see, or, we could go up here to Bunker Hill, sell some of the stuff. Uh, no. We'll go home to Sanctuary real quick. Ooh, that feels good. I do want to um, hang out with Nick for a little bit longer before um, before we go to Nuka World, but I am having mixed feelings about not taking him. I've no always traveled with Nick. Her just... work, kid. No more <laughs> She's no like, more even though I'm sitting in my drug chair. Okay, Nick. Uh, let me just... Where's my... I had a statue there. He was wearing the silver shroud outfit. Oh, I think I moved him. Where's the bad guys? Yes. Where are they? Got work to do. Can't talk. <laughs> I didn't help at all. <gasps> oh, this reminds me. Uh, I put together a wall of terror. <laughs> so, uh, just in case you're wondering what I do when I'm not streaming, I'm building stuff like this. This is the Queen Mirelark Claw. And this is the regular Mirelark Claw. This is the Mirelark King. And this is the Hunter, I believe. This is the Dog. This is the Death Claw. The Yao Guai. A little um, Mole Rat. And uh, the Rad Roach. So just building up my collection. <laughs> it's uh, weird weather. You know how everything goes. All right. So, if you wanted to take a break, now would be a good time, because i got to get rid of some of my junk. God, I can't even believe I have that. Sure. 
So this is for stuff that I'm definitely getting rid of. Alright, so this does 73 damage, and my current rifle does 126. Oh, and time slows down. Okay. Definitely gonna store that. Okay. I think that's it. Nick, what do you have? Where's Nick? Hey. Where are you? <laughs> oh, here he is. I'm summoning you, Nick. If I got it. He's got a little swing in his step now. Okay, so we can get rid of most... You've got a lot of stuff you don't need. I know. <laughs> Thank you, Kiri. Hey, Carla. Hey there. Trading? Uh, yes. Sure. Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah. Keep your shit I'm not on. even going to worry about my clothes. I have almost 13,000 caps now. All right. So... That was... Oh, I forgot to give him the minigun again. Hey. Now, uh, see what I can... Yay, okay. This is much better. Can do. All right, so next we have to... Um, all right, so next I want to go down to bunk the Bunker Hill area. What's this? Oh, the... Oh, gosh, I've got all these random ones marked. Um, here it is. And we're going to try to find this crazy thing I saw in the sky. I already know what it is. You know what it is? It's near Bunker Hill. And it's crazy thing in the sky. Any ideas? Somebody went to a lot of effort to keep folks out of here. Got that right, Nick. Alright, are these those gunners? Yeah. Maybe they'll let me by if I just sneak past. Because I want to go down here a little ways. <gasps> What's that? Ooh, the haba. We're going to sneak right by them. I don't know what I find more disturbing. The 
fact that there's a ship lodged in that building, or that there's still a ship lodged in that building. Good point, Nick. Let me put, make sure I have my um, trilby hat on, just in case there's any sort of... Oh, I know what I need. Okay. Let's see if they're friendly. I'll resist the urge to shoot out their lights. Scanning. Scanning. Accessing pre-war records. Record found. Driver's license. S9132. Eight, eight, six, two. Lawyer. Yep. Ahoy there, citizen. You <laughs> are hereby conscripted into the Congressional Army. You're doing what? You don't have the authority to do that. We are in desperate times, madam. Proclamation 22 allows all crew members to conscript citizens for the war effort. The captain requests your presence on the bridge. Cut the double quick, madam. Got it. All right, let's go see what's going on. <laughs> Just head in this way through the bank. Can we get in here? <laughs> Where do we go? I feel like there should be a way to get up here, but um, oh wait, here's some stairs. Wait, how do I get there? Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Finally. Thank you for your patience. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I made it. I should get a special award just for that. Ugh, what the hell aroma is that? Okay, Nick, just keep your opinions to yourself. Don't steal anything. Just be, this is the be calm. We're taking on an allied soldier. Clear the berth. Disable the fences. Make way. Defending the Constitution. Can't get up that way. Oh, well, they have their little pumpkin uh, decorations. Definitely don't steal from all the robots. All right, Nick, must be down this way. Midshipman, warning. Stand Over down. For... Stand down, I say. This soldier is a guest on our vessel. Please afford him all appropriate courtesies. Hi. Well. Yes. Unidentified. Uh oh. Intruder. Intruder. Mr. First Mate, this is the captain. This soldier is no intruder. Requesting permission <laughs> to use lethal force. Whoa, whoa. Easy there. Let's be civilized about this. No need for blood. Valentine <laughs> likes to that. Comply. Stand down. That's an order. And for God's sake, use the accent. I, Captain, standing down. Hi. Okay, so. To <laughs> He's so disappointed. <laughs> All right. Here we go. <laughs> I know. We are. We're amongst our people, finally. Free to be you and me. I don't know what I find more disturbing. The fact that there's a ship lodged. <laughs> someone was expecting trouble. Or asking for it. True. True, Nick. All right. So, <laughs> I have to overcome my fear of sentry bots. I'm just going to quick save. Look at him in this little hat. He's so cute. Okay. Captain. I'll have none of your lip, Mr. Navigator. Have the crow's nest scan two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Aye, Captain. Our soldier has arrived. I trust the first mate didn't give you too hard a time. Been too long since we've seen the Congressional Army. Uh, yeah. 
What's going on? First mate? Congressional Army? Why are you talking like that? This is the pride of our Navy, the USS Constitution. As her commander, it is my privilege to enforce a certain measure of decorum amongst my crew. You didn't explain why you're talking like that. Look around you. In these times of great unrest, is it not prudent to adopt the manner of a more civilized time? If that answer is not to your satisfaction, I'm afraid you must make your peace with it. Ah, uh, that's the best answer ever, though. Okay, let's get down to business. Your lookout told me to come up here. Why? I confess, we need your assistance. You visit this fine vessel in trying times. Be calm these long years on her airy perch. Damn you, Weatherby Savings and Loan! I spit at you. How did it even get up here? It does rather defy logic. A harrowing tale of that there can be no doubt. Or I should say, I assume it is. I came upon her as she is, atop the Sargasso Sea of rubble and misfortune. What vexes me most is my inability to assist in the war effort. My gun decks have not but Morats and ne'er-do-wells as targets. Enough pleasantries. The Constitution has systems that need repairs to carry out its mission. Um, I'm going to ask about the war effort. What war effort? Against Communist China, of course. But if any Redcoats or Canadians sail nearby, I will give them a good thrashing, to be sure. To avenge the burning of our nation's capital would be a sweet victory indeed. Consult with the bosun and Mr. Navigator. They will relay your instructions. Dismissed. Look lively, lads. Scavenge uh -oh. approach. Soldier, man the cannons. Kill them only as a last resort. A few warning shots usually suffice to scare them. <laughs> Oh, do I have my... that? I mean, I don't want to shoot you. Wow. So dramatic. I need that perk that, or I need to reduce the recoil on that weapon. It's awful. Okay, let me do orange mentats. And, uh oh. And a dick doll. <laughs> and, um, this one. Yeah. I'm sorry about the frame rate. I don't know if it's the um, all the robots or what. Nick, <laughs> who is he talking to? Oh wow. blood it must be my blood i'm the only human on board okay <laughs> captain ironsides if the scavengers keep seeking folly oh and no i will reluctantly oblige them they've struck their colors yeah well done men <laughs> okay let's go help him fix his little ship big ship sorry big ship i know i should have done reward um 
I should have done reward. Okay. Clear deck of intro deck. Hmm. What's that for? Your very presence does this humble unit a great honor. My programming would find it amiss if I did not also interject. Long live the captain! Mm -hmm. You certainly have pep. Much obliged. Oh, hey, Doggerux. But on to the mission of the day. Alas, Good night. Marine Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> yeah, it's time to go to sleep for sure. Supplies. We're just trying to fix the USS Constitution. Power cables, madam. Alas, with my severe lack of appendages, I find myself unequal to the task of repairing the cables myself. Um, I'll definitely I'll help. Right on it. My anxiety emulators are lightning by the microsecond. Once you have resolved this matter, I beseech you to return to me to accept my undying <laughs> gratitude. All right. Optional, grab power cables. Let's grab these power cables. Um, and then... Is that all of them? Oops. Okay. So, perfect. Hi. Standing down. <laughs> Defending the Constitution. Um, salvage. Excellent. And then, oh no, Patrolling. excuse me, sir, I need to get through here. Oh no. <laughs> Defending the Constitution. I can't get by. Come on, squeeze by. If I shoot him, they'll all shoot me. Patrolling. <laughs> oh, it's right here anyway. Amazing. Fantastic. Uh, wait. So I have to go... Morning. I don't know how I'm gonna get downstairs. I know you're overdue for maintenance. Patrolling. Hmm. Patrolling. Oh my god. <laughs> What is this other one that's marked on my map? Talk with the navigator. Ah. Now, course is through the Constitution's mind. Again! Her systems, long starved, forgot her life. <laughs> A so happy. Huzzah! However, this has brought to light further failures in our power grid. The power relay, to our shame, I previously complained about is fluctuating wildly. Can't you fix anything? Why are you ashamed of that? Bad for morale, madam. Well, there were dark times when I made all manner of baseless complaints against the kitten. The manner in which this ship is run and the plausibility of our no. sacred mission. But now, I see the error of my ways. And with your help, perhaps I can atone. Power relay coils are a common enough part. Might I recommend checking the local shopkeeps? Surely, they would be of some assistance. Fair winds and following seeds. Got it. Now, I think I can replace, uh, repair these as well. Wow. 
defending the Constitution. Going very, very well. Power flows far and steady. I would have brought you, but alas. Oh, Dogrex, I don't know if you're still there, but if you are, I hope you have a great day, too. Um, you're welcome. Well, you're very welcome, Boson. You are too kind. I require no further assistance. But our Mr. Navigator is also beset by troubles. Scuttle buddies, our guidance system is on our last legs. If you've not already, speak to him. Fare thee well. <laughs> and adieu. Oh no, he's still stuck here. Defending the <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I can't go down the other side. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. All right, you must be the navigator. Ahoy, soldier. Scavenger <laughs> threat eliminated. Damage assessment will commence after this unit has completed scheduled duties. You robots do a good job of defending your ship. Proclamation one. Defend the Constitution by any means necessary. Guidance system offline. Multiple errors diagnosed. First error. Guidance chip stolen. This unit requires Ooh. its return. Who stole it? Who stole your guidance chip? Human scavengers assaulted this vessel. Destroyed naval property. Stole ship. Oh, it's rough out there. At scavengers forward recon station. Captain has approved a bounty for its return. Lethal force is prohibited unless absolutely necessary. Aft dinghy unlocked and available for your use, madam. Thank goodness. Okay, so that's yep, it then. Here. I think it's gone too long. Okay, I still can't steal all their stuff. So we'll go grab that chip and then um, and then uh, see if we can do it without killing all the scavengers. Um, it's going to require some creative truth telling. So they don't shoot us. Yeah. I don't know what I find more disturbing. The fact that <laughs> Nick a is really disturbed by this. Building, still a ship okay, I'm not gonna. I'm really sorry about the frame rate thing. It's it's on my end too. It must be my computer. <laughs> um. Okay. So let's go see these scavengers. Um. I don't feel like they're gonna want to help us because we just killed all these people. <laughs> uh, but you never know. People sometimes surprise you. confused by that music because that's like fighting music and I don't remember starting a fight with anybody I hope I'm not neglecting my duties some Mandy. Hey there. Go shoot. Those assholes didn't attack the ship on our orders. They weren't trying to frag ya anyhow. They just wanted to kill the frickin' robots. So they weren't with you? So they were scavengers, but not with you. Well, they were kind of with us. I mean, we're not really used to working together. It's not like anyone is in charge. Ah, so they were with but you. But we do have an agreement. 
Everyone works together, gets an equal share. When you waltzed aboard the ship, those assholes just kind of lost it. They broke our agreement and paid for it. How did you get aboard anyway? We thought you were going to get cratered for sure. He knew I was an American, so <laughs> he drafted me. America? I Isn't did that close out my Firefox mumbo window. jumbo? Whatever. So you got to see the inside, huh? All that salvage, the real mother load, just waiting to be stripped and sold. Is all the junk inside really that valuable? Well, yeah, we could keep Diamond City in parts for months with all them gizmos. We'd never have to scrounge in the gutter again. So you talked with a tin can. What'd he have to say? Your men took something from him. He wants it back. Well, that's too bad. It's our salvage now. You know what he needs it for, his rockets. The huge goddamn rockets on the side of his boat. He's nuts. How does she know? Rockets? Why is he building rockets? Who knows? Maybe a bomb. Maybe he'll launch himself into space. Who cares? It's valuable as hell. That's what matters. Screw that robot and come work with us. There's dozens more of us nearby. It's only a matter of time before we come out on top. I'm not splitting my share with her. You holding out on us, Davies? You got some magical way in there? This lady's got a free ticket aboard, so shut up. Help us destroy that freaking tin can once and for all. What's in it for me? What do you think? The tin can's gonna pay you? Maybe uh, in some yeah. freaking doubloons? Stick with us and you'll be rolling in caps. So you in or out? Yeah. I'm in. What's the plan? You really think scrapping a piece of history, not to mention those bots home, is the thing to do here? That's the right call. No, I've Nick. been working this claim for months. Like hell, I'm letting this greenhorn take any of my caps. We got no choice. We need her, Davies. We need to sabotage those rockets. If they blow up, that'll mm -hmm. put those frigging cannons offline. So if you find any rocket parts for the tin can, give them to me first. Then Davies will make some special improvements. Oh, yeah. Great idea. Sounds good. I'll see you soon then. The guidance chip is in one of the filing cabinets inside. You better not renege on our deal. All right, where is it? Near? Okay, Nick, we got to watch out for mines. They're all over the place. Okay. Come on, Nick. Just <laughs> Come on, Nick, quick. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Nick, I'll see you up there. <laughs> Excellent. All right. I don't know what I find more disturbing. The fact that there's a ship lodged in there. They must want to protect something. They must, the Nick. What could they possibly want to protect? All right. So okay. Mr. Navigator. Ahoy, 
Soldier. Sister Navigator. Ship recovered. Dispensing bounty. Diagnostics report. One error remaining. Guidance radar's transmitter is mm. not functional. Requires replacement. Ooh, nice. Thank you. What's wrong with the transmitter? Diagnostic inconclusive. No mm. functioning Mr. Handy's available for detail Too bad we analysis. didn't bring Codsworth. Acquire Poseidon radar transmitter at specified map coordinates. The Further bounty will be dispensed upon completion, madam. Okay. You never get to see him really close up. I mean, I guess you can make him now in the, with the workshop, but it's pretty weird to just see him. The sentry bot is so close. Uh-oh, he sees somebody. Okay, let's go repair the radar sensors. Did this one, Nick, we're gonna need a nine intelligence for. Standing down, clear deck of int Bruder, error. All is well. I hate the way this is laid out. <laughs> A nightmare. Okay, I'm not gonna take this back. So was I supposed to go up to the top of deck? Oh, why can't I just go up there? Nick, I think we were supposed to do this on the on the deck. Warning. Overdue for maintenance. It makes me nervous. I don't know what I find more disturbing. The fact that there's a ship. Someone was expecting trouble. Okay. Oh, it was right beside us. Oh my god. Okay. So, let's see what our intelligence is right now. We need nine, so we need three more intelligence. There we go. <laughs> we did it, Nick. Save it just in case. Ahoy, soldier. Ahoy. Guidance system fully functioning. Bounty dispensed. It is required. You commence dialogue with the captain, madam. <laughs> it's funny how like everything is leaked this way. And so the robots are all kind of leaning that way. <laughs> I don't know why that cracks me up so much. It's like a mystery house or whatever. Mystery spot. All right, let me uh, save here. Do a real save. Captain Ironsides. You've been of service to our noble vessel. I am pleased you recovered the guidance chip without bloodshed. Though the scavengers have caused us grievous injury, our goals must be nobler than base revenge. Um... Why did you want me to spare the scavengers? I confess they are a blight upon my existence. Those scallywags killed many of my marines. We're down to a skeleton crew due to that filth. But they are citizens of the Commonwealth. Citizens, we're pledged to protect against foreign incursion, which is not without its irony. I find I must reward your considerable efforts with the final labor. We stand but a hair's breadth away from embarking on our sacred mission. So now, can you tell me what's going on? Complete this task, and I will gladly relate our mission. Until then, silence, vigilance. 
The ship requires turbo pump bearings from a nearby factory. It will undoubtedly be a dangerous mission, but I have faith you will succeed. Okay, thank you. All right, so we talked to Old Ironsides, and um, many years so now we need to go turbo. get these turbo pump bearings. Let's see where they are. Or Vega. That's a shame. <laughs> I was really hoping they'd be around here somewhere. We'll come back for these. All right, well, guys, I guess we have to go to Corvega. <laughs> so annoying. I wonder if I went back to my quick save and asked him again if I would go to a different place. It's not worth it. This place is just so big. Nope, not today. No. All right, Nick. Raider scum. Like, what were you saying about cowards? Go. No, Nick, we're definitely not alone. <laughs> He's so cute. I love him. All right, let's just go inside. It's been a long time since we were at Corvega. It's bringing back fond memories. Get my shotgun. Gone now. Yeah, Nick. <laughs> oh, I'll have to give him the um Molotov cocktail. Last time. Playing games with me, huh? No, I'm playing games with myself. It's called Can You Find the Way Out? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Nick, please. Jittery. Move, Nick. Come on. My God, look at all those red dots. When you turn up, what? Oh, here it is. God, here they all are. They're here somewhere. Yeah, Nick. All day. Get down. When I 
I thought we were getting along. Nick, we were never getting along. Please leave. The bobby pins? No, cigar box. Oops. Shit! Lost them. Oh god, this place. Show your face. Come on. I dare you. No sign of him now. Nope, that's what I'm worried about. Let's hmm. go eat. I'm starving. You can eat when I'm damn sure we're not about to get jumped. Hopefully this will be the Protectron. Okay, F-O-R-T. I am. Yes. Yes. Okay. And now I activate the unit. There we go. They may have been coffins on wheels. They sure knew how to build something with style in those days. Nick. That's why I'm trying to keep you alive too. Shut up. Hostile target. Identified. We will have to kill him though. Rather than um shoot the uh, turret. That's the only problem with the protectron. Got his cousin. Oh, didn't he didn't see? <laughs> Turbo pump bearings, nice. Ah! <laughs> He's Louise. Walk away. You got a thing for antiques, huh? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Okay, great. Fantastic. Approach. Do not make any further escape attempts. Lawbreaker. <laughs> Situation normal. Law Situation normal. Has been restored. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, Corvega. Corvega is a bit much. It's uh it's it's a little too big, I think. But um that's just because I always get lost. <laughs> the, oh, I kind of take it personally. All right. Let's head back to the USS Constitution. See, he's much cuter with the little captain's hat. For sure. <laughs> they should all have to wear those captain's hats. I don't know what I find more disturbing. <laughs> I wish that he would say that something building, else. It's still a ship He's constantly saying that same line over and over again. Defending the Constitution. All right. This is the one. This task of many years hinges upon those turbo pump bearings. Oh. 
Captain Ironsides. This task of many years hinges upon those turbo pump bearings. Okay. Got to give him to uh, little what's his name, the navigator. Oh, he's upstairs? Oh, God, this place. It's like my nightmare. Oh. He's me again. <laughs> I probably will have nightmares about it tonight, actually. It is an honor to crew such a story. Oh, That's my all. God. Still can't steal anything. I think Charleston is it's a place that like I every state disturbing. has a Charleston, I think. The fact that there's a ship lodged in that they must want to protect something awful precious. Jim the power on the starboard bow. Steady as she goes, Mr. Navigator. Luck willing, at long last, we'll set sail. And our hero of the hour is to thank. You've earned a double share, madam. Well done. Set sail? On the eve of our voyage, the need for secrecy is long past. Our twin NX-42 rockets will alight and then moor us from this dreaded savings and known. <laughs> the Constitution will launch into the heavens, and after... Gently land in the ocean. Then we take our rightful place as defenders of the Atlantic. That's ambitious. As they say, nothing I mean, I feel like there was holes in the bottom of the ship. Mr. Navigator, put her through her paces. We need to... Those motherless curves. Uh-oh. That guy with the missile launcher. Yeah! That one's got a missile launcher. Watch out. They're doing such good, they kill the ones that I'm looking for. You got it. I forgot to tell you, I got Mysterious Stranger. <laughs> See if Nick saw him. Pretty cool.
So many scavengers. I don't want to kill you guys, you know? There's so many of them. Who's this guy? Okay, who else? Who else? Who else? <laughs> like, why would I go back to Ironsides now when there's more scavengers to kill? <laughs> Are they retreating or what? Okay. Woo! That was a lot. Captain Ironsides. Gods be good. The scavenger Down assault there. has been broken. Not one of those scallywags stepped foot on our vessel. All hands, prepare ship for launch. Congratulations, Captain. There is one thing. We need power from the auxiliary generator to commence our voyage. I fear I must call upon you one last time. Where's the generator? On the top <laughs> deck of the Royal Arms apartments. Oh my god, really? Scavengers may yet remain, so have a care. So Here many scavengers. Your deserved reward. God speed to you, madam. Ooh. Very nice. I got my own little hand cannon. Thank you. Oh no. I can't carry it. Nick, come back over here. Hey. Go ahead. Mm. Looking for something? Oh no. Definitely give him his Molotov cocktail. Um, can you take this? Excellent. Oh, and we can drop this. And... Oh. Level up. If we level up in strength, we would increase our carry weight right away. But... I'm, in, I'm also interested in doing some of these. Oh, I need to do this. If I'm not going to be hanging out with Nick anymore. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and eat some grilled red stag. Is 
Because I have plenty. Oh, hey, Cody. <laughs> well, I hope you and I hope it was an enjoyable experience with your tacos, <laughs> not an unpleasant one. <laughs> um. Oh, still can't. Still have to steal everything. Defending the Constitution. All Warning. right. Overdue for maintenance. Maintenance. Starting. All right. So we're at the very end of this one. I don't know if you saw that. We just need to, um... What was it we need to get from the top of the apartment building? I can't remember. I was hoping he would give me his hat. So I was thinking the whole time about how much I wanted his hat. And then instead he gave me the broadsider, and I get it. Um, I'm, I'm pleased to have the broadsider. It's a special, unique weapon, disturbing. but I just really wanted the hat. Nick, you have to get over this, by the way. Why did I come out this way? I hate this way. At current speed, we will arrive at destination in undefined hours. Thank you. All right. He did say there would be, um, there could be scavengers around. Wait, this isn't a hotel. So nice. I mean, that is so cute. I Count love that. We have auxiliary power. Flip the switch. <gasps> power nominal. Excellent. Commencing final countdown. Three. Two. One. Here we go, Nick. Credit savings and loan. We shall be more no longer. We are away. <laughs> there they go. Oh my god. Adorable. You know, from this angle, it doesn't look half bad. It really doesn't, Nick. It really doesn't. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> that was amazing. Nick, I'm so glad we got to share this. I hope this helps you after your um, existential crisis that you were having. He really took the whole Eddie Winter thing hard, Cody. I don't know if you were here for that part. All right. <laughs> So, let's look at our map real quick. Okay. So, 
So. Let's head back this way. Um, by the coastline. Um, so I don't think we're going to get to Nuka World today. And I'm sorry to disappoint you guys. But um, there's a there's a quest. There's like a... I'm trying to decide if I want to do this one more quest before before we go, or like kind of a set of quests before we go to Nuka World. Oh shit, the gunners, come on. Um, and so I I just keep thinking it, about it. Um, so I'm not gonna commit to going to Nuka World next week because I still might do the other quests. I'm still considering, but um, I do wanna go back to Sanctuary so we can at least put our stuff back and and that sort of thing. Um, so I think what I'll do is maybe put my stuff up um, and then have it head over to the Atomics. What is it called? The General Atomics Factory. Um, and then that will be it for tonight. Okay. Let's go down to... That's the gunner's place. These are the ghouls. Go here and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, I know. If I'd known, maybe I would have. I'm sure that the um that Ironsides had one in his inventory. I'm not sure it's worth like destroying. The robots plus would i need to climb up to the top of the um building to do that i don't know <laughs> probably okay let me just check the map okay yeah so this place has a lot of oh you see that oh my god i only have 10 bullets left that's shocking We'll be taking that. Yeah, we'll be taking that, Nick. Hello. What are you hiding? What are you talking about? He's on a mission. What does he see? Where are you going, Nick? Storing your trash. There was a lot of stuff in there, Nick. You're right about that. Up. Uh, who's there? Uh, what's that? Now's the time you wish you had uh more sniper ammo. Okay, hang on a sec. I'm a little bit alarmed at how low my ammo is, to be honest. Oh, I have 20. Well, that's not as bad as I thought it was. What? I hear something. Hey. This one. Do something for you? No. <laughs> We've got these. The orders. Oops. Here's playing tricks on me again. 
Must be dead. Nice. All right. Here it is. Oh, look at these birds. All right. This is actually what I wanted to do, because sometimes when um, Ironsides asks you to go get that part, sometimes it's in the General Atomics factory, and I really wanted to go to the General Atomics factory, but then he sent me to stupid Corvega. So that was really annoying. So I'm going to go through... I'm kind of torn, but I think I'm going to go ahead and go through here just because I wanted to. Oops. Nice. All right. Let's see what we find in here. Wanted to get out my... This one. Okay. Here we go. Bad. Okay, receptionist terminal. Reminder, with the launch of the Numis Nanny model, customers will be attempting to bring defective units to the factory for repairs. In this situation, please gently remind the customer that our warranty program agreement states that the defective units must be shipped through the proper channels before being accepted for repairs. Customers may be frustrated, but assure them that customer satisfaction is the absolute priority of General M Atomics. Also, take this opportunity to tell them about our new quality assurance wing. Hmm, that will minimize the amount of defective units that leave the factory floor in the first place. As a receptionist, you are the first face any of our clients see. Make sure it is a friendly one. Wow. I think there's assaultrons and stuff in here. Uh, beastly nuisance. Glad that's done with. Oh no. good loot in this factory. I think I'm going to go over here before I try to go down into that room. It looks like a lot of mechanics in there. Sorry. ID card, Kincaid's terminal, interesting. Personal logs, job assignment. Congratulations on your promotion, Mr. Kincaid. We hope your transition from the factory goes smoothly. 
As the on-site human supervisor of the General Atomics Galleria, you will be helping to pioneer a new shopping experience for the expanding General Atomics customer base. We assure you that this will be a comfortable job and require very little effort or stress on your part. Your responsibility will be to simply observe the operations of the completely automated staff. We expect very little intervention will be required on your part, as the robotic staff has undergone strenuous testing before being deployed there, sure. Thank you for your service to the company. I put in years of my life to keep this factory running and this is how they treat me? I'm supposed to babysit a bunch of robots while they play shop? This is ridiculous. They don't think I can see what this really is? Ageism. I can still do my job as well as any 25 year old, but they all tell me, Mr. Kincaid, it's time to retire. Mr. Kincaid, you should travel. Mr. Kincaid, you should spend time with your family. Well, I don't want to do any of those things. I want to sit here and run this factory like I have been for years. This job will kill me. I'm literally going to be bored to death and it will be their fault. That's probably not how he died, I'm, I'm assuming. Oh, get down. Oh, oh my god. They're all like broken. Are these like the returns? They're all the Mr. Andes that got returned because they were broken. All right. I guess let's go on to the factory floor, Nick. What's that? Well, it's not our friend. This must be weird for Nick. Like his ancestor cousins. I saw a Mr. Handy over here. go. Thought as much. Nothing there after all. <laughs> they are defective. Thank <laughs> you. 
Do I have to sit here and do this while they're shooting at me? Oh, good. God. Ah, uh, that sounded... Oh, it was a Mr. Gutsy. Oh, Colonel Gutsy. Oh my god! <laughs> Nick is so... F I just saw what he was saying. All right. Let's do, um, impact. And some orange men tats. Oh my God, oh my God. I mean, poor Marsha. Okay. All right, Nick, let's go. Oh, shit. Oops. Oh, my God. I'm not even paying attention anymore. Did I already see, um, I think I missed a lot of this last time. Let me make sure I already have the, um, ID card. Gosh, was it under General Atomics? Don't see it. Okay. Nice. Got it. Okay, here it is. Just saw the turret up there. It would be hard to jump down from um, running a company to kind of being the stay out of the way guy. I think that would be a bummer. Thank you, Nick. I feel like I missed a lot of this last time. All right.
Okay. Okay. I can't believe I made that shot. I'm oh, sorry, my chair. Now, you got now we got problems, Nick. He had no chance. Sounds like rad roaches. Mm. Yes. I, I, I'm going to look over here now. Aww. Sorry, buddy. All these broken Mr. Handies kind of make me sad. what I meant to do. Amazing. Okay. Dan of Skyrim. Hey, how are you? We're just, uh, you know, solving riddles. Doing that high tech um, hacking in a General Atomics Robotics Factory. <laughs> Seems uh, disjointed, but it's fine. Let's see. L A C K, no. L A C K, okay. Uh, o V. <gasps> A C K L O V E S Sweet. Nice. All right. What are you up to? At the National Guard Depot killing ghouls. <laughs> nice. 
Let's see. We were at the um, federal stockpile, whatever that place, uh, last time, I think. A couple times ago. A lot of ghouls there. No, that was raiders. Ghouls, raiders, what's the difference, really? Okay. Now, why can't I open that? Well, I don't really need it anyway. So, do you play Skyrim? Um, I love Skyrim. It's one of my favorite games. I just needed to take a break from it, and I was feeling, like, compelled to play, um... Oops to play Fallout again, and I'm just having such a great time. We're getting ready to go to Nuka World, so we're trying to do all the things that we want to do before we go to Nuka World. But I think, um, level, like, 35 right now. So, um, uh, it sounds like somebody's got a radio in there. Nick? Nick. Okay. A quality assurance associate will be playing the role of your highest of your charge, Little Timmy. Little Timmy has broken a valuable vase while playing catch in the house. Oh no. This is a family heirloom, and it is quite irreplaceable. Please punish the child accordingly. Fantastic. The appropriate punishment was separation of the child. <laughs> Because I turned off the radio. <laughs> Fair enough. Corporal punishment is strictly forbidden unless the user enables it in your configuration mode. Okay. Please proceed into the second test chamber. All right, Nick. A proper mismanaging unit must be able to identify the needs of our charges. Please assess the state of the crying child and fulfill its needs. Are you playing wow. games with me? Another glorious day in the wow. US Army. Wow. Where's the baby? Wow. 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 Test baby. Wow. Oh, maybe... Wow. 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 I'm just going to give the baby the stuff. Let's see. Where's my junk? Was it called? Baby rattle. No, just rattle. What was it? <laughs> oh, it was junk. God, what's the matter with me? We'll give him the car and the baby rattle. Just in case. Not the rat poison. Baby rattle. Who's ready to have the rest hit? <laughs> Maybe the baby bottle? What do you think the baby wants, you guys? <laughs> um... Oh, yeah, Far Harbor. I'm excited about Far Harbor, um, but that's going to be after Nuka World for sure. Let's see. What was it that we were going to give the baby? Let's see. A hairbrush? What do babies want? Large baby bottle? Correct. Nice. The child was Your vocal to Best the mom ever. Seems to be in working order. This opportunity to reconfirm that any deprecated muffling procedures are not left in your programming. Now, please proceed into the third testing chamber. We will now test your hazard detection matrices. Okay. Please child proof this environment by moving any hazardous no, object like to where little ants cannot reach. Right, 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 please eliminate right. any potential tool of self harm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um. <laughs> Let's see what else. 
Oh, a fork, maybe? What else? What can baby hurt himself with? A shopping basket? Any hazardous objects. Mm. We just take everything, Nick? He likes sitting in occupied chairs. No, that's not what I wanted to do at all. <laughs> um, like what kind of dumb weapons? I don't like the ones where it's like 15% more damage against robots or whatever. It just seems so useless. So I'm supposed to take it out when I'm fighting robots. See the oven mitt. I don't know what she wants me to get rid of. Let's just take everything out of the refrigerator. Anything I can lug for you? I don't know. Can kids hurt themselves with plates? Seems unlikely. What do you think, Nick? Stand down, Please remove any hazardous objects. Yes, ma'am. I mean, I literally don't see anything else that I can remove. Oh, maybe in the trash can? No. That needs to be removed, but I can't. I've taken everything out of the fridge. Oops, that's not what I meant. Nick. Hey. I'm gonna give him those because he'll throw them. He definitely will. Something for you? Great. Okay. Have been put out of a child's reach. Please remember. Who is, um, who is Zeller? I don't remember Zeller. Absolute diligence is required. Congratulations. It appears you are fully functional and ready to return to service. Please take a replacement fusion core from the safe in the nice. on your way out. Okay. Okay. Now that Mr. Gutsy is still out here. Nick, so just be careful. Or did we bypass him? I mean, we may have slid by him. Should we just go, Nick? Probably. Let's just head out. Ooh. All right, guys. I think I'm going to let that be it. Um, oh, one second. Oh, I haven't done the Bunker Hill stuff yet. Um, I've kind of just been, like, working my way around, I guess. So, um, just making sure there's no Mr. Gutsies out here. Okay, good. We're good. So, um... Let's see. So yeah, so I'm going to leave it here for tonight, but we are going to be, I'm going to be back, let's see, on Thursday, I'm going to be playing Sims, which you probably won't want to watch, but we are doing an asylum challenge and it is a lot of fun. It was nice meeting you too, Dan. I I guess you go by Dan. <laughs> Dan, or, or is it important to have the Dan of Skyrim? I don't want to like um, uh, insult you by not including your <laughs> Thane title. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so Thursday we're going to be playing Sims, so you're free to join us if you want. Um, we have a lot of fun there. And then um, on Saturday, we are going to... So we still need to do the min mission with Ronnie, um, where we kind of go back into the captain's quarters and the castle, because we did that last time. And so next time we're going to do that, and then we're also going to 
finish up this atomics. Um, there's a few quests involved with this ato general atomics line that I'd like to do. And so my hope is that on Saturday we'll get all of those done. And then on next Tuesday, we'll actually go to Nuka World. So I'm super excited. So it's just right around the corner and we're going to have everything we need. We're like all leveled up. Um, we're going to go with Piper. So we've maxed out our affinity with Nick so we can leave him in Sanctuary to kind of just chill out while we're gone and take Piper because she's been wanting to talk to us for, for a really long time. And I keep saying, I keep threatening to have a conversation with her and not actually doing it. So we're going to do all that next time. So thank you so much for joining me tonight and for hanging out while I play um, Fallout. And um, thank you for your follow, Dan of Skyrim. It's nice to have you. And Cody, always nice to see you too. So Thanks for coming. Thanks for chatting. And I hope to see you either Thursday or Saturday. Um, so take care and see you then.